What's going on, people? So I just thought I'd show you my supplement stack. Now, it's not a giant list like uh, Brian Johnson, you know, that uh, longevity guy. But yeah, here's a few things. All right, so the first thing I'll show you is, is magnesium glyconate, glycinate, however you say it. So this pretty much is a more bioavailable version of magnesium compared to oxide or citrate yeah so this one actually crosses the blood brain barrier and has all sorts of benefits on your brain as well as your muscles um yeah so a few of the things it does you know relieves cramps muscle spasms supports your nervous system aids in exercise recovery relieves symptoms of stress of course there's it goes a lot more deep than that you know magnesium is one of the most deficient uh nutrients in the modern human diet so yeah i take a scoop of this stuff every night helps you sleep uh, i reckon it gives you me pretty it gives me pretty vivid dreams so i actually am planning on getting a different brand i didn't realize that i thought it says does not contain any of these things sucralose whatnot but i just i noticed just here that it says contains sucralose multidextrin sulfites now i don't want to be putting that shit in my body so after i finish this tub i'm planning on getting a different brand that doesn't have all that crap in it yeah the first time i tried the magnesium i realized it was really sweet and it doesn't have a list of the, the nutritional value so i thought maybe it's just sweet you know <laughs> no it's got sucralose in it so no good don't get that brand get magnesium glyconate it's the superior version of magnesium it costs a little bit extra but it's worth so much more so second thing i'll show you is, is nac n acetylcysteine so this stuff is pretty um special to me it actually helped me quit green and it helped me quit smoking the ganja um i don't condone ganja youtube but um, yeah, I take just one a day, 600 milligrams. As it says here, uh, it's a sulfur containing amino acid. It uh, st acts as a stabilizer for the formation of proteins to form glutathione. So glutathione is your the powerhouse of your antioxidants in your body. You know, say if you live next to a uh, busy road you know all the car fumes you know take one of these a day it help it helps clear out your lungs from all the debris and mucus it also helps regulate your dopamine and uh, can suppress the app your appetite towards your addiction so say if you're addicted to smoking nicotine or thc you know say if you're addicted to adult media content or food yeah this stuff is actually pretty good at helping you overcome your addictions it certainly helped me i highly recommend this stuff it's i know this this brand was pretty expensive so it cost about 60 australian dollars so yeah highly recommend this stuff though nac baby yeah you've seen this coming creatine monohydrate great stuff you know a lot of people take this i take it every day three grams didn't load overall helps produce adenosine triphosphate you know um it's the powerhouse of your energy you know created by the mitochondria but not to be too scientific it helps in muscle gains um yeah overall couldn't live without it now this stuff here this is gold I'm basically out, you know. I've been taking beef organ supplement for about seven months or so now. So yeah, I take I've had this is my seventh bottle. As you can see it has organic Australian liver, organic heart, and organic kidney. So this here is the most superior food on the planet by far. You know, this, people will debate that it isn't, but like, look, these are all the nutrients that it has in it. It's crazy. You know, some of the highlights would be CoQ10, 
uh, B the amount of B12, zinc, you know, B vitamins, selenium. So, you know, this can help boost your testosterone back up. Yeah, highly recommend a beef organ supplement if you're not willing to eat organ meats. Yeah, so I can't, it's, I find it hard to find organ meats in my town. So, yeah, this is my go-to. Couldn't go, couldn't recommend it enough. You know, ever ever since I started taking these, um, you know, my, I feel like my skin's a lot firmer from the hyaluronic acid, collagen, and elastin. And my hair grows like crazy now. Like my head hair, my body hair, yeah, it, it grows very quickly. Also, I noticed that my nails. Now I have to trim my nails like every two days. So, yeah, this stuff just fills your body full of nutrients and. Yes, yeah, feel super energized taking it. It's a win. So, something I don't take every day, but I did take it when I was quitting the green along with the NAC. So, ashwagandha is an interesting one. It helps boost GABA. Uh, it does a lot of other stuff that I can't quite remember, but yeah, any, anyone that's familiar with ashwagandha they'll know that it sort of bluntens your mood so a thing i did notice was that i would feel a bit blunt i wouldn't feel stressed out but i couldn't reach those high moments in life like them couldn't didn't feel overall happy i felt like a rock and you know i, I take this stuff when i go to a funeral or in a, you know an interview meeting whatever so yeah, but as it says here, helps relieve stress, supports the healthy stress response in the body. So yeah, this is KSM 66 ashwagandha. It's the full spectrum of the plant. Um, yeah, premium version basically. So I recommend ashwagandha. Obviously, you know, if you have thyroid issues and whatnot, it can be a problem. So yeah, I don't. I do recommend it to the right person. However. I try not to take it every day like I did take it for two weeks straight one time and like I said I did feel slight, a slight sense of anhedonia so yeah ashwagandha it goes all right now one more thing I want to talk about it's not really a supplement but I do take it with the purpose of getting a certain chemical or plant phyto whatever it is phytonutrient or whatever and that is this is chamomile tea so I take chamomile tea like I drink about like three cups a night nearly every night some nights I just have one cup I put a little bit of honey with it and I get it in these like foil packets um, obviously microplastics in the tea bag I actually did buy loose leaf chamomile tea but I have to restock on that so but these are the second best thing. So what chamomile does is it has apigenin in it. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. And apigenin releases GABA. So if you don't know what GABA is, it's your uh, inhibiting neurotransmitter. So it inhibits cortisol and adrenaline and whatnot, making you feel more calm and relaxed, you know, relieving stress and tension. So it's the best thing to take over night time you know get into a deep sleep and get that proper restorative sleep and if you're ever feeling overwhelmed through the day a couple of chamomile may help you chill out now something i did take but uh, not so much now is fish oil tablets so i'll take about what's the max i forget it's like five now, I'd take four capsules. Now, these things are gigantic. I've nearly choked on them a few times. It's like the biggest pills. And, you know, when you're trying to pump four of them, two at a time, and yeah, it's, it's pretty intense. So, I stopped taking these. I heard somewhere along the lines that a lot of fish oil is oxidized. So, I am going to try to get a refrigerated version basically to prevent the oxidization you know you don't want to be taking rancid omega-3s fatty acids so yeah but you know a lot of benefits 
you know, helps with your joints, anti-inflammatory. Um, the main goal of taking fish oil is to receive EPA and DHA. So um, EPA and DHA are pretty much what's going to give you the benefits from fish oil. You know, a lot of your retina, so eye health, high concentrations of DHA are found in the retina of the eye. So yeah, your eye, eyeball, is basically has a lot of DHA in it. So you want to be intaking DHA in your diet to prevent like, you know, eye degeneration and all sorts of eye problems. Yeah, it also supports your brain health. You know, a lot of your brain is made out of these fatty acids, DHA and EPA. Um, yeah, it can help support blood lipids and whatnot. So, yeah. But I don't, like I said, I'm not taking this version anymore. I've got to get myself a non-oxidized brand. If you know any, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.